Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the order of operations, and specifically, we're going to be taking a look at problems with both parentheses and exponents. Now remember, the order of operations are parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. Think of the order of operations like a set of instructions or rules that we need to follow to work through a problem. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 13 plus five, and then in parentheses, two cubed plus four, end parentheses, divided by two. Now, one thing I wanna mention before we get started, whenever we have a number next to parentheses, so we have five and then a set of parentheses, that's multiplication. So we have five times whatever we get within those parentheses. So let's go through the order of operations. Are there any parentheses? Yes. So we start there. We need to do anything inside of parentheses. Well, we have two cubed plus four. So we do exponents before addition. So let's do two cubed first. Two cubed means two times two times two. Two times two is four times two is eight. So two cubed is eight. So in parentheses, we now have eight plus four. Now we can bring down everything we did not use. So 13 plus five, and then in parentheses, eight plus four, end parentheses, and then we have divided by two. So let's go through the order of operations. Any parentheses? Yes. So we need to do anything in parentheses here. We have eight plus four, which is 12. Now we can bring down everything we did not use. So we have 13 plus five times 12. Whenever you have a number next to parentheses, that's multiplication. So that's five times 12 divided by two. So let's continue to work through this problem step by step. So any parentheses, anything within parentheses that we need to do? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes, we have both. We have multiplication and division. Multiplication and division are the same priority. So what we do, we work from left to right if we have both. So let's do five times 12. First, five times 12 is 60. Bring down everything we did not use. So 13 plus 60 divided by two. So now we have 13 plus 60 divided by two. Do we have any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes, we have division, 60 divided by two. So let's do that next. 60 divided by two is 30. Bring down everything we did not use. So we have 13 plus 30. All we have left is addition. So that's what we end with. 13 plus 30 gives us 43. And that is our final answer. So again, we just broke that problem down. We worked through that problem step by step following the order of operations. Let's move on to number two, where we have 15 minus seven in parentheses, and that is squared. Minus, in parentheses, 36 divided by nine, and parentheses times 10. So let's work through the order of operations. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, we have two sets of parentheses. So let's work from left to right. We will start with 15 minus seven. 15 minus seven, is eight. Now we can bring down everything we did not use. So we are squaring whatever we got within those parentheses. So bring down the exponent of two. Then we have minus, and then in parentheses, 36 divided by nine, and parentheses times 10. So now we have eight squared minus, and then in parentheses, 36 divided by nine, and parentheses times 10. 
So let's continue to work through the order of operations. Do we have anything within parentheses? Yes, we have 36 divided by 9. So let's do that next. 36 divided by 9 is 4. Bring down everything we did not use. So 8 squared minus 4 times 10. So now 8 squared minus 4 times 10. Any parentheses? No. Any exponents? Yes. So that's what we need to do next. We have 8 squared, which means 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Now we can bring down everything we did not use. So minus 4 times 10. Now we have 64 minus 4 times 10. Any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. We have 4 times 10, so we need to do that next. 4 times 10 is 40. Bring down everything we did not use, so we have 64 minus 40. And we're only left with subtraction here, so this is what we end with. 64 minus 40 is 24. And that is our final answer. So there you have it. There's how to work through order of operations problems involving both parentheses and exponents. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.